Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 54. And I'm staying on a torch. So, it haven't, as you can see, I've worked on my automatic crafting a bit, and it worked out all the bugs, so it works out great now. And I was starting this episode when I discovered a unintentional but interesting feature of my warning light system here. So, I've been smelting glass. For, I've been taking the rock from my rock generator and turning it into glass. And, well, I noticed something kind of interesting. So as you can see, some glass just went through. So I'll come back in here. It should blink in a few seconds. And it gets through the item detector, hopefully. Or it could not blink. Hmm. <coughs> Might be because I'm lagging. I've noticed that it's actually kind of funny. I can't use my jetpack when I'm lagging really heavily, which is kind of amusing. Because I guess the jetpack uses CPU or something. I really don't know. Anyway, um, anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is, as you can see, it you know, if you don't look at it, you'll miss the blink. And I just now changed it to for the item detector to only blink when a once per stack of items that goes through it. Originally, it was blink for every item that goes through it, and it was causing an odd effect where this wire would blink so quickly it would break the torch. But what I realized is that makes it an audio effect. So now, and you see, so the light won't necessarily always be accurate, but it will make noise. See, right now, it's supposed to be off. But, on the other hand, by having... Uh, so the sign is now invalidated because it's not going to blink anymore. It's just going to be on or off. But the thing is, you see, now it's got an audio alert. So now, if I'm just standing in my base and I hear it doing that you know, noise, I'll know, oh wait, it's having trouble. And so then I'll go over and I'll check my buffer chest and find out that it's full of glass. <laughs> See, so I'd better turn this qu off quickly before I fill up that just anymore. So I'm gonna come over here and put that back in the smelting category. That will put a stop to all the glass production. Now you might be wondering why on earth am I needing so much glass? Well, the answer is because I've been working on my excavation over here. If I come over here, and pause the recording to let the area load, you can see that I have finished all of the excavation. So now I will be able to do all the building uninterrupted. I also trimmed the side off this side and on the other side as well because there were bits of dirt and ore and whatnot. This wall is supposed to be three blocks wide as you can see I just trimmed off the two and it gives me a good way to double check that it's all nice and smooth. So if I drop down here this is the floor that the water level water tower room will sit on and then beneath this is going to be where I'm going to sort of like a service corridor area. This is going to be the actual catwalk. And then, as you can see, all the um, fiber cables are hooked up to everything and feeding up the base. It was funny, I actually had to temporarily take all these cables down when I was clearing out this area, which. <laughs> 
means that I didn't have any power for a while, and I did not realize how much I've come to rely on having a source of electricity. But I was able to make it work. I had to use my la uh, lap pack, which holds like 100,000 EUs, to run electricity from my uh, MFSU to the MFE that was running the industrial engine that was running the filler that I was using to take out all this area. But anyway, now this platform I'm standing on right now I didn't actually build by hand. I actually used a builder from Buildcraft to build it. And I'll be showing how you do that in this part because it's really quite cool. Let me just get some torches down here. As you can see, this is a lower platform. This platform up here is on level with here, and I'm going to extend this platform through the entire room, and this platform through the entire room, and that's going to be my two floors. I'll stand on this one to do all the wiring, and I'll stand on this one to do the actual building. These are just three chests of all the stuff that I've picked up cobblestone. I actually found three diamonds, unbelievably, just out and about. But as you can see, it's just all the stuff you'd expect. As you can also see, I built those four glass walls. I built those four glass walls by hand. <laughs> yeah, so it took me quite a while. That stone wall I built automatically with a builder. This stone wall I built by hand. So it took quite a while, which is why I've which is part of the reason why I've been absent for a while. The um I need to put up another stone wall here and then I need to put up the floor, the glass walls, the stone walls, so it's got a quite a ways to go. But I wanted to show it as it is now before I started running the builders constantly so you could see what I've done by hand so that I could get the necessary blueprints because in order to first build something you have to actually first build it yourself once you've built it yourself then you can record that blueprint and build it again now let's see do oh one more thing as you'll notice my engines are missing Obviously, at some point, I was going to have to get rid of them, and they were only there temporarily as it was. I've moved them over here, and then I put the pumps down there. So the pumps are down there, and then they look like that. This lever controls the pumps. I'm not sure entirely why I have a lever to control the pumps, mostly because I wanted to be able to flip a switch and have them all turn on. Anyway. And then over here... That's unchanged, although I did turn on the smooth stone so it looks nice. And this is mostly just so that I can make it look nice. I did a lot of little bits like that, you know, smoothing out the smooth the cobblestone into smooth stone. And then the MFE is here because obviously I have to run the power over to here and then up to the engines. So I need to grab some smooth stone so I can Smooth that out. I'll smooth that out later. Alright, so let's see. Do I have everything I need? I need some stuff here. This is a blueprint. And I'm gonna need that as well. I could probably put that in there. Okay, that's good. Okay. So let me just show blueprint here. Blueprints are made with paper around lapis lazuli to make a blueprint. And then the other thing I built was a builder. So a builder supplier logistics pipe does what you would think. It supplies building material, it allow hooks a builder up to the logistics network, allowing it to pull from the network. A builder is built like that, and it builds things according to the blueprints that you give it. So, for example, this is a blueprint with. Let's see, I have before. Where's my glass wall blueprint? Uh, ah, there's my glass wall blueprint. I have it already. Okay, glass wall blueprint. This is what I call that wall there. So, 
but I'm actually going to replace it because it's got a few problems. So I'll put that there. That shouldn't be in that chest. Let's put that over here. Okay. Now this is an architect table. An architect table is built like that with a template which is built like that. And what it does is it lets you, uh, well, write a blueprint basically. So I'd like to copy this glass wall so that I can build another one. Now, the question is, I could copy more than one, I suppose, but I think I'll just copy one for now. I can always change my mind later. Now, first step you do is you get your landmarks out and you decide what you want it to be. So I'm going to put landmark there and I'm going to put landmark there and then I'm going to come over to this side and put a landmark there And then I'm going to go up top, if I can make it, come on, almost there, you can do it, come on, oh no, I'm lagging too hard to make this, there we go, got it, okay, my jetpack works much better when I'm not recording, trust me, okay, so, let's see, I put it right there, so if I put it right here, then I can drop down and do that. There you go. And as you can see, I have put it into a box. Very good. Now, there we go. Now I take the architect table and put it down there. Like that. And then you run around and grab your landmarks. It's always smart. I mean, yeah, landmarks are cheap, but it's easier just to keep hanging on to the handful that you've built. And I'm still having trouble. Okay, forget it. Alright, I'll grab it later. Alright, then you come over to the architect table, and you type in what you want this to be called. So I'm going to call this Glass Wall 2.0. Well, okay, that doesn't work. Um, I guess Glass Wall 2. I'll know what I mean. And then you take a blank blueprint, put it in there. And you wait a few seconds. And done. Glass wall too. Now, tear it down. Now, let's see. Let's go to the other side. Okay. I'm going to want to put a glass wall around in here. I'm going to need more smooth stone, actually. So let's deal with that right now. Yeah, you can see I have 12k glass, not counting the glass that's in the overflow chest. Okay. So, let's just extend this out a bit. So now, I take my builder, and I take my blueprint, and I do like that. And as you can see, it's putting it there. That's not what I wanted. This is mostly, I i don't know of any easy way other than just trial and error, placing it down at different angles to see where it puts it. Okay, that's good, except it's a couple blocks too far that way, so let's just come over here, try that, well, 
That's closer. I actually think that's perfect, because remember, I put the landmarks on either side, so that should be perfect. And it should be symmetrical. So that should be good, because if I recall, I put it there, so yeah. Because if you'll notice, I was very careful to put two blocks on one side. So it should go block, block, and then not that. Okay, so it should be good. So now I put this there. I take a builder supplier logistics pipe, put it right there. Incidentally, you'll notice we need 705 glass, 286 stone, 7 torches. As I, as soon as I turn it on, Torch there. there we go. Wow, we have light. Amazing. See, it starts pulling the resources. It will hold on to the resources here. Now, if I do that, lag's bigger, and oh, fall off the edge here. I do that. Set this to two. Receive. It will start powering, and it will start building it. And I'll have to just sit back and watch it build. Hmm. Only problem is it, I put it on the... I did this wrong. Nuts. Okay, 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 stop. Okay, so this is mild snafu, but nothing I can't fix, fortunately. Need to get rid of all this glass. Okay. Right, yeah, okay. Should have guessed that it would have that problem. Okay, actually, I wonder if I can just... I wonder if I can just overwrite it. I bet I could try that. Alright, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try and see what happens if I build in a spot that already has something built. Although I could suppose I could just whatever. Okay. Last wall. Okay. So if I put it here, what will happen? Okay. So let's put all this stuff in there. Now I'll give it power first. See what it does. Yeah, see, it starts by tearing it apart. Sweet. Okay. So now I'll put. Guess that will work. Yeah.
it's funny. It looks like it put a torch down on thin air. But as you can see, it put the torch that was here down. And yeah. I have to fill this bit in manually, but that's no big deal. Let's do that for the moment. And yeah, so that's how it works. The um it's really fun to watch actually. And as you can see, it's like, yeah, I really did. It put a torch down in the middle of nowhere. Wow, that is cool. Anyway, as you can see, I need to add a floor. And, you know, obviously it's going to be a lot of work. And, well, not really so much work, a lot of time to put them all down. So, I'm going to cut the recording. And I actually think that I might just upload that as an episode, because that's a good episode, little chunk. But, um, I'll cut the recording here. Next time I start recording, I, I will probably have all of this building done. And since I showed, as I showed you, that I can just, you know, because my plan is, um, I use the architect table to build blueprints of the wire towers themselves after a while. I'll put those in. So basically, all I have to do now is build the thing. So yeah. So I'll get working on that. And yeah. See you in the next part. Bye.